Greetings, I'm Undone Builder. Today I'm going to show you how to make some good smooth terrain on Roblox. So you find the terrain tools and the terrain tab up in the search bar. Uh, you'll want to play around with those before getting started if you don't already know how to do this. But I'm just going to jump right in using the add tool. I'm going to make a basic, just pretty simple, smooth terrain block of uh, grass. Now, I personally never use the terrain generation button, um, as you can see up here. Um, it can work in some instances, but simply because it's just so random, I, I never find that it makes what I, what I want, and it does so many extra things, I just don't use it. I, I don't recommend it. But anyway, uh, using the add tool, I've made this simple little base here. And uh, if you've ever been outside, you probably know that uh, the ground is never flat. So I'm going to grow some circular grass hills around here. Just hit uh, it on the strongest and largest settings. Let's grow some nice hills, make it spice up the ground. If you've also noticed, if you've ever left your house, which hopefully you have, the ground is never a single color or texture either. Um, this is one of the big flaws I notice in a lot of Roblox terrain games is they just have one one texture as their entire game. And this, this is not realistic. So when I am making grass, I usually use some ground to go with it, growing some extra ground. This really adds some realistic pieces to it. If there's some parts you don't like that are too large, kind of grow over those with some other grass. This does this this adds a bit more realistic like dirt where there might be dead spots in the grass or stuff. Uh, it just adds an extra layer of realism. Another thing you might notice if you've ever left your house is there's rocks well, usually unless you're in a desert and even then there's probably a few. So I use the grow tool on some smaller settings to grow some rock formations around around the map. Um, this just adds yet another little bit of realism that just makes it feel just a little bit more like life. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of a river here to just show you how to do that. Now some people use the paint tool to do water and as I've shown in a previous video on how to do water uh, that, that does not look good. So instead I use the subtract tool, make it the size of the river I want and I subtract the river bed that I want it to be. And then using the regions tool, I, as shown in my water tutorial, make and fill in that some water to make a nice river. And we having cut it out, it makes kind of a more riverbed feel with the jagged edges and looks just more like the water actually eroded there. I, it's how I prefer to do it realistically. Um, you can use the smooth tool if you like. I, I don't um, usually unless something's wonky. It kind of doesn't do much in my opinion. Um, if you want to get a little extra realistic, you can erode some places like we grew it. Makes it just gives it a little more texture. Um, just that extra touch of realism. Some feeling a little more random like that. And that's how I make just the general terrain of all my places. Um, another thing that I find a lot of people have problems with is mountains. And I can see why, because they're very large and Roblox is not really set up to do them. So I'm going to quickly show you how I make my mountains. I use the Add tool, and I go to the maximum size on the Square tool. We'll make this one out of rock. And mountains are large, so you'll never want to just use the Grow tool to make mountains. That will take you years. If you use the Add tool and build an outline of your mountain, just one on top of the other, slightly behind the other, continually growing in size. Give it a little tip there. So you've got a basic mountain outline. Now, obviously, that does not look like a very good mountain as is. But what you do is you go to the uh, uh, erode tool, select the, the uh, circle, and begin eroding these rough edges, just usually very briefly, uh, just to give it a bit more of a feel, and even with this, it won't look like a great mountain yet. 
but that'll be the next step. The grow tool on the same material and this takes just a little bit of time to grow out a nice mountain slope. Um, you can leave cliffs if you like, but I personally don't like the look of cliffs. I usually just grow it all out to look a bit more natural and eroded. Um, it's up to you depending on your personal visual preference. Um, I'll just quickly finish this up, not to perfection, since this is simply a tutorial. But if you're depending on what you're doing, you might add it into a point or have several of these. But once you have your basic mountain shape, which this isn't perfect because it'd take a while to get it just a perfect shape, um, you'll Want, now, you, this is an okay mountain. It, it looks okay, but to make it a little more realistic, what you'll want to do is add some color on the ledges. Now, since the terrain is grass, I'm going to color the ledges with the paint tool to be grass. It'll make it look like the mountain is layered, uh, a bit more realistic than most. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I think it looks a lot better. Um, so I just paint it roughly. I select the rock and kind of touch it up a bit, giving this mountain a more realistic feel that it has ledges and growth on those ledges and such. Uh, I think it adds a really nice touch if you're trying to get a little more realistic. Um, and if you want, you can just, you know, top it off with some snow because every good mountain is topped with snow. Pretty simple. Uh, it's a, it'll be about as good as the amount of work you put into it, as most things are. Um, that's about it for the basics of making terrain. Um, if you want to see my tutorial on how to make good lava, you can check that out. But before I close up, I want to show you this really nifty feature. It's a bit newer to the Roblox repertoire, but it's really nice. If you play with the textures, you'll probably know that yeah, they don't all fit. Things like cobblestone don't always work great. So they've added in terrain. If you open up the Explorer in View and Properties and you go into the workspace under Terrain, you'll see in Properties they've added, where'd you go? Material Colors. And in here you can change the color of all these lovely textures. And this is extremely useful doing pretty much anything. You can match the colors to your place, you can make it look alien, you can do whatever you want, by, but by simply clicking on any of these, you can make them any funky color you like. Uh, I'll just make mine look real alien to get the point across. But yeah, it's pretty nice, and once you do that, I mean, you can do pretty much anything with all these great color changers, and that's about it. I'm Undone Builder. Please like and subscribe.